Hey, I'm Miko Koivu from the Minnesota Wild. Watch Please Weekly. Good morning, Burnsville High School. I'm Nikki, and this is my co-host, Cole. Today we have stories on the NHL lockout in our diversity group. But first, Allie spent some time with our girls cross-country team. Here's the story. Cross-country may seem like a sport not many people know about. I caught up with Krista to see how the season's going. As a captain, I feel that our races have been going really, really well this year. Um, we haven't placed as well as we wanted as a team, um, but we've um, placed second and third in a lot of um, big meets. But for those who do know about cross country, they think the girls just keep getting better. I feel like the girls have been working very hard and uh, they've just been in the weight room a lot, I've heard. So we're on the street and uh, they're getting big, going to do some big things and uh, may get a little reckless in these next few races. Good luck, girls. Just like the runners, the coach has high expectations for the team. We're off to a fantastic start. We've got people running faster than we've ever run before, and we have more people running closer to the front than we've ever had before. And so it's really exciting to see. Everybody's putting in hard work, doing everything they can, and uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pay off pretty big come October. Good luck to the girls at their conference meet next week. Signing off for Blaze Weekly, this is Allie. Thanks, Allie. Good luck to the girls' team at their conference meet next Friday at Egan High School. Our diversity and proud groups went on a retreat for team building activities last weekend. Hunter was there to tell us more about it. At Camp Sacagawea, members of the diversity team and proud learned how to better interact with a more diverse group of people through a series of friendship and trust building exercises provided by members of the 4 H Club. Hi, I'm Hannah Hartog and I'm part of the Burnsville Diversity Team. I joined last year when I was a sophomore and the reason why I joined was I like experience of their cultures and um, experiencing their life and just their experiences. We now go to Mr. Engelhart for more on Camp Sacagawea and Diversity Team. Hi, uh, I'm Mr. Engelhart and I'm the person, the co-person in charge of Diversity Team along with Ms. Milanovic. This is my uh, eighth or ninth, ninth year now of doing it. And uh, the last couple of years we've gone on this field trip where we do a retreat to Camp Sacagawea. And uh, it's turned out to be really useful for getting the kids to know each other and kind of build that community that we need. This is Hunter Cantrell reporting live for Blaze Weekly. Thanks, Hunter. If you're interested in joining Diversity or Proud, talk to Mr. Ingehart or Mr. Milinovich. The NHL hockey season is currently on a lockout, and the preseason has been canceled. Thomas went to a local rink to talk to reporters and players as they prepare for the season. Locked out NHL players are finding their way up to St. Louis Park to keep in shape while the issues are still being resolved. Michael Russo of the Star Tribune talked about what these workouts mean to the players and their skills. You, when you don't have that end of the day knowledge that there's going to be a, a season, you, it's easy to just suddenly not show up or suddenly, ah, I could just blow off that training session. I can, you know, maybe have a couple extra beers and a pizza tonight and things like that. And so right now, I mean, the big thing is, is can they stay motivated no matter how long this goes? Because this thing could go a while. So right now, as you can see, we're a week into what should have been training camp and all the guys are still out here. But all of a sudden, two, three weeks down the road, are they still out here? Are they maybe signing deals in Europe, things like that? So that's going to be the biggest thing that we're going to have to see here during the lockout. The players themselves realize how vital these workouts are for their off-season regiments. It's starting to get a little boring now doing this. I mean, we've all been working out for three, four months now. We're ready to start the season. This is about the time that we're at least playing some exhibition games, so it's tough to find things to do right now. Um, right now, it's kind of tough because you, you know you gear up to head out to the camp and um, you know once camp starts, you usually into the season. So now we're a couple weeks behind, so you got to kind of taper your workouts or, or find uh, different ways to, to keep in shape so you don't get too monotonous. Good luck to the players as they prepare for their potential upcoming season. Reporting for Blaze Weekly, I'm Thomas Lidholm. Thanks, Thomas. The NHL season is supposed to start next week if players and owners can agree on a contract. There's a new program through Mazda to raise money for our schools. You can test drive cars at the Burnsville Walser Mazda on November 16th and 17th, and money will go back to our new video program to purchase new equipment. We'll have more information in the upcoming weeks, but for now, we'll leave with the video Mazda has produced to introduce this program. 
Thanks for watching. Bye. How's it going? This is our classroom. Plays with me is Prenzel High School's student-produced news magazine show. We produce everything on the show. We edit it. We add our own graphics. We write all our scripts. Like, right now, we have some interest from people, but like we don't quite have all the stuff we really need to make the program really good. How about you, Nora? What do you have to say? I think it's really frustrating when the thing takes forever to load, especially when you have a story done by the end of the hour. So it would really help if we had new computers. We really would appreciate if you guys could send us some money to help just update our services and like make things a lot easier for us in this program. I'm Kelly Bilo and our program is called Blaze Weekly, so thanks.